of weather is this? This is the first time I've been in San Diego when it's rained and it's, it's awful. This is not good at all. Jeez. Alright bro, so today we are actually doing something that I haven't done in a very long time and that is modding my car. I'm super stoked. It has to do with my tune that I'm getting, so it's gonna be awesome. I'll see you guys when we get to TJ's Warehouse. So today we are installing a DW fuel pump because I do plan on going E85 when I get my tune. Mickey is gonna help, well actually Mickey's gonna do the entire thing. Mickey insists this is like a one person job. So I'm gonna do what I can, but you know how Mickey is. So yeah, we're well, good with the camera. So you do the camera thing and I'll do the I'll do I'll the, do the do camera the thing, you do the pump thing. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this so you guys know what all exactly comes with the fuel pump. Did you cut this yet? No, it's not cut. So let's go ahead and open this. All right. Oh, do we have directions? Fitment kit. We have magic. Is, is this it? This is the. This is the. <laughs> That's the magic deal. That's wow. the pump right there. Then we have some more. Magic. Well, hopefully inside here we have. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Some wiring, some new O-rings, and a new filter. So. Sweet. So. Whenever you get the DW fuel pump, it pretty much comes with everything you need. What's the the, the plan that's going to go down? All right. Well. I mean, the fuel pump's pretty straightforward as far as how it works and how it installs. It's just, we'll go through like how to properly do this. So we're gonna disconnect the battery, which I don't always do because we're dealing with fuel and potential spark stuff, maybe a fire. I don't wanna have to deal with any of that. So we're gonna undo the battery. Um, we do have a fire extinguisher here just in case, but this is a pretty delicate process and it's gonna go pretty smooth. We're not gonna have to deal with any of that stuff, but just to be cautious. Um, <laughs> We're gonna start with removing the rear seat, and that's pretty simple. So I've already released the other side, um, but if you reach under, basically in the sedan, uh, which is different than the hatch, there is a release here on the sedan. You just reach in here, pull out, and the seat unlatches. Hey, there this we is go. how that works. So there's a spring-loaded release. So you're basically reaching under the seat and pulling on that. And at that point, you can just yank the seat out. All the loose change and crayons that Dustin has in the back seat for <laughs> Put that somewhere safe for now. Are you uh, disconnecting the battery? Yeah. Just cover off, maybe. And this is a 10 millimeter, so we're just gonna disconnect this here. And Ripperino radio stations. <laughs> Before we get too far, Mickey, what are the exact tools you'll need for the install? Uh, I'm guessing at the moment, I believe I need a 10 mil for the battery, an 8 mil for the fuel pump um, panel that mounts in place and underneath the rear seat, and a flat-headed screwdriver to pry some of the clips and things, um, and then a quarter drive ratchet with a small extension to reach down into the seat. So we're nice. moving on to the 8 now, so we're going to get to the pump. Last but not least, we need a Phillips head screwdriver for the uh, cover plate under the rear seat. Nice. Four of these, so we'll pull these out. We're not using any power tools just because they create a spark with their motors. Um, since we're gonna be dealing with fuel, we're gonna do all this with hand tools. Easy enough. Since this panel is pretty big, um, what I like to do is pop the rubber um, grommet free and pop it through the hole. That way you can move this out of the way until you get this unplugged and that'll also make it go back together pretty quick because you just pop this back through and reseat it and you're good to go. So now we're gonna move on to removing some of these clips. Now we can slide that out. So since there's two of these and they're similar lengths, um, what I've done is I've just grabbed a piece of red masking tape and put it on these two connections. That way I remember red to red and no tape goes to the one with no tape and we go to put this back together, so there's no confusion. Um, now we're gonna move on to removing the eight millimeter nuts that secure the plate that holds the pump in place and seals the tank. We'll remove those and pop the tank out and we'll show you that in a moment.
now we've got the um, basically what this the purpose of this is to store fuel while it's in the tank. It stores so fuel in this. Cup. This what is this piece right here? This is basically the carrier unit for the fuel pump. The fuel pump is actually in this white deal right here inside okay. this lower one. But this cup here is actually meant to hold fuel inside the tank. So when you're doing turns and things, and the fuel sloshes around, this is holding enough fuel to feed your engine while you're doing those big turn maneuvers or high G moves. Um, and the it's it actually picks up the fuel from the bottom inside here. So as the fuel moves inside your tank, there's actually fuel in here that's not moving. Correct. It's able to feed it directly to the engine. Okay. Uh, what I'm doing now is basically disassembling this whole thing because we have to get inside of here to get the pump. This pump is inside here. Okay, cool. So I'm basically just undoing all these clips and... So, stock fuel pump? New fuel, New fuel pump. pump. Okay. So Mickey just got out the stock fuel pump, which is this, and here's the DW uh, 300. That's the new fuel pump that's going in. Not much difference on the outside, you can tell. All right, so we got the old pump out, as you saw. The new pump uh, has its pre-filter installed. And we had to modify the carrier for the bottom of the filter because this, the job of this plastic carrier is just to carry the pre-filter for the stock filter. So that gets cut off and we reuse this piece which holds everything in place. And we can now start putting everything back together. It's super important to reuse or use the new O-rings and put a lot of the uh, supplied lube on there so that you can squeeze them in without them getting pinched and uh, destroyed on the way in. Awesome. Line up this O-ring, get it centered. There you go. All right. So we have the fuel pump installed. Now we just have to put the fuel pump assembly all back together and throw it in the car. Shouldn't be too bad, that was a really easy install, surprisingly. Just a lot of wiring that you need to be careful not to mix up. All right, so the new pump is in. The new harness is in and it's all put back together and functioning properly, so now it's time to reinstall it back in the car. Yes. And start it up. That was actually very surprisingly easy. This is your level sender that tells your gauge on the dash how much gas is in your tank. Okay. So one, it's important that it's rehooked back up, and two, it's important that when you put this back in the hole, you don't damage this or bend it because it will affect the reading on the dash. So when you put this in, you want to lead with the sender Get that in the tank and then come down with it. So now we're back in the gas and there's a few things that have to get put back on before we can go any further. That's this thing, which is the seal. And it has to be clocked properly to, uh, so these little bumps stick through the top plate. Okay. So as me and Mickey are putting in this fuel pump, we are also streaming live on the Throttle YouTube channel. Shout out to all the bros who are currently watching us right now. Uh, let's see everybody in here. Hey, everybody say what's up to the vlog, if it'll focus. There we go. Focus. It's not focusing, there we go. Yo. Look, there I am. Yo. What's up guys, everybody say what's up. Cool. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate everybody who's watching us live right now. You guys are awesome. We're gonna get back to filming because Mickey's actually almost done putting the fuel pump in. Fuel pump is in. Make sure the red, or the green clips are hooked back up. We got red to red, so we know we're in the right, right hoses and check to make sure they're tight and we're good time to put the cover back on. oh fuel pumps done and in we are complete now we just have to like reassemble the cover and the seat and fuel pump is in all right rear seat pads back in let's go time to put the battery back on 10 millimeter tighten this guy down and boom Okay, so the fuel pump is in, seats are back in, everything is back. The next thing we go ahead and start the car, make sure that the fuel sensor is working and nothing's wrong, and start. Just so leave it there for like five, ten seconds, turn it off, and then turn it back on. Turn it off now? Yeah, turn it off. Okay, now turn it back on. Let it prime again. 
five seconds or so, and then I should be good. You ready? So, now that the fuel pump is finished, I'm just gonna go around the block real fast to make sure everything is fine, the fuel's going through, the connection's okay, and I don't have to worry about anything. Cool, we are out. We're good? Yeah. Go, uh, go rip on somewhere. I'm just gonna go on that road. Okay, so, you heard it. Mickey told me to go rip on the car, so, go on the back roads a little bit. Strap in. Hopefully there's nobody that's gonna get mad, but I have to test the car and make sure there's enough fuel getting into the line. So let's go ahead and check it out. Car feels good. Car feels good. We're fine. Damn it. All right, bro, so now that I know that the fuel pump is working perfectly, I got this using my VIP discount from Throttle at the Hunt Quarters. I saved 10% on this, and you guys can too. If you want any parts for any car, definitely sign up for a VIP membership because you can save 10% on any part using the VIP membership. It's definitely worth it, especially if you're buying lots of car parts. It's well worth it to get 10% off of any order. The link's down below if you want to sign up. All right, so fast forward. Oh shit, things are falling. For like two hours, I have filmed Calvin's Miata. Yeah, yeah. Had some meetings with Throttle, and now I'm heading to SD Wrap. They are starting some really big projects over at the shop. So to finish my afternoon off, I'm gonna go over there and film. I'm gonna give you guys a walk around. Uh, Just got finished at SD Wrap finally. I'm super tired. Either way, Lonnie, he's gonna come meet me here. We are actually hitting up a Taco Tuesday with a bunch of Subies, so I'm waiting for him to show up to SD Wrap and me and him are gonna cruise together. It's gonna be awesome. Look who I found. What's up, bro? What up? <laughs> so, Lonnie just pulled up to SD. We are heading out now. We're gonna go to Taco Tuesday. Gotta flip a quick U turn in the middle of this road. U turn to here. Taco Tuesday, they always have a big super meet here. Is it every Tuesday? Um, not here. Well, every Tuesday is Taco Tuesday, but they have it in different, different spots. Okay. Oh, but today it's here. Today's here, yeah. It's at Primo. What a, what a good time. What a good time. So, they have specials here, so we're just gonna see. Can I get three carne asada and three chicken? Alright, anything else? What comes on? So this is my first actual, like, like local meat. So that's yeah. pretty cool, yeah. All Subies too. I hate taking it to meets when it's unfinished, but you know, it's whatever. It's gonna be done, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really awesome. But this thing is sweet, Metro Performance. I need a splitter. Splitter would help out a lot. We had a nice Z show up. This thing is sweet, bagged. I like the color of the wheels. Boy, look at that. Odd question. That looks nice. Are you the guy that